Hey guys, welcome to the 68th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use threading just a little bit. In the following tutorials, we're going to get into threading a little bit more. All you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and some sort of method that will freeze your application. And here, I just have a, an infinite for statement. And since it can never uh, finish this for statement, it will just continue to work and it will just freeze the application. And then the button when click, we just call this method freeze so that when we click this button, um, our application should freeze and we shouldn't be able to do anything about it. Click freeze and our application is frozen. We can't resize it or do anything with it. We can't even exit out of it. The only way to stop would be either to go into task manager or we can just stop debugging since we're using visual or since we're using C sharp right here. Alright, so Usually you're never going to have an infinite for statement that you will have some way to break out of. But this is just an example. Like if you were, you would normally um, use threading if you were, um, if you had some sort of method that would take three or four seconds to complete. And threading will allow you to run a method in the background so that your application doesn't freeze while um, it's doing some sort of uh, process. So. In order to use threading, we're going to have to be um, using the system.threading namespace. So we're going to be using system.threading. And up here, we're just going to create a new thread. So we're just going to do thread. And then we're just going to call it something. I'll just call it t. And we'll set it equal to a new thread. And inside of these uh, parentheses right here, we're just going to pass through the method name that we want it to thread. And we want it to thread this freeze method. So we're just going to type in freeze right here. And since we're not invoking the method, we don't need to have uh, the two parentheses after. We're just going to put uh, this one to close up this thread. In order to start the thread or invoke this freeze method right here, we're just going to do t.start. And it will just start the thread. So now when we debug, we should, um, our application should not freeze when we click this freeze button. It should run this method in the background and we won't even really know what's going on. Yep, we can move it around now, we can resize it, maximize it, all that stuff. But when we um, click the exit button, it's not going to exit out of the application. And that's because this thread is still running. So what we need to do is go onto our form and go on the closing um, event. And there's the closing method. Oh, I guess it's form closing. This is kind of form closing, and we're going to need to make this thread. Um, we're going to, need to be able to use this thread in other places. So we're going to go up here and do thread t, and then we'll do t equals a new thread right here. So now we can access this um, thread in any one of the methods inside of our class right here. So now when it's closing, we're just going to do t dot stop. I guess abort. I guess I guess it's abort. T dot abort. So it will just end this thread right here, so we can actually close out of our application. So now when we click freeze right here, and exit out, it will actually exit out of the application. Yep, we didn't have to uh, stop debugging. So that's pretty much all we're going to look at in this tutorial. I know we didn't really go over much, but in the next tutorial, we're going to look at more realistic examples of using threading. So, see you guys.